With her high test scores, flawless grades, and impressive list of achievements, you know Annie Sinner's biggest problem with college admissions will be sorting through the offers. Annie could go anywhere. She could go to any school she wanted. Um, she's been accepted to colleges without them even seeing like her resume or any additional information. Annie is one of those people who just has it together. She's always one step ahead of everyone else and people look to her for guidance or for advice. In fact, Annie makes things look so easy. You'd think her whole life has been that way. But nothing could be further from the truth. Right from the start, Annie's family was torn by violence and abuse. But I remember I was standing in the doorway with my sister and we were watching my dad um, beat my mom and, and we couldn't do anything. Because I was, you know, I was probably like two at that point or even one and a half or something and um, he was beating her with that chair. Then when Annie was just two, it got worse. My dad, when my sister was three, he had molested her and um, she ended up telling my mom, she had called the police and got him out of there. Um, they came and arrested him. Annie never saw her dad again, but the pain he inflicted remained. I remember being very angry as a younger kid, even though a lot of our problems were ca caused by my dad, who wasn't in, in the picture. It was almost like we were using that anger against each other. And so we ended up hurting each other a lot. Scarred by abuse and suffering chronic illness, Annie's mother couldn't work. The family struggled to get by on her disability checks. I've um, lived in public housing my whole life, and um, the, along with that came, you know, depending on food stamps. There was no money to make the girls' lives a little brighter. I just remember seeing other kids, you know, get presents and stuff, and I didn't get presents, and I, you know, I didn't understand. I didn't, you know, I didn't understand why some people get the privilege of, you know, being born into a lucky situation. What Annie did have was a passion for learning. She loved reading. She absolutely loved reading. She devoured books. Books became Annie's escape from the harsh realities around her. There are so many examples in our neighborhood of things that could go wrong. You could become pregnant at 16 or, you know, become a drug dealer. You know, we see all of that in our neighborhood. And she realized education was her way out. When, you know, your family doesn't have extra finances and resources, um, your education is the only thing that can get you anywhere in life. So Annie willed herself to do what it takes to better her life. A couple words that I would use to describe Annie would be courageous, very determined, very brave. <laughs> she's held her own. She's really held her own path and been her own motivator. She studied hard and worked toward her goal. But life didn't get any easier. Her sister struggled with depression. Annie suffered the loss of a beloved cousin when he was murdered not far from her home. And money was always a problem. But Annie has never gone for self-pity. She takes her own challenges in stride, she's grateful for what she's got, and she's passionate about making a difference for others. My main thing is that I want to help people in very vulnerable situations um, that seem hopeless. And even though, you know, counseling and stuff might not seem like it can make a difference, to some people that are in the lowest of the low position, you can't really help them get back up. I think there's always like a hope to get back up. There always is. At the same time, Annie has a little advice for people facing adversity. And I think you just have to realize hard work will get you someplace and um, yeah, your passions will get you someplace. There's no doubt Annie's hard work and passion will take her far. She's going to be great. I'm not sure where she'll be, but I'm excited. She's going to do really well. And wherever life takes her, the family that went through so much together will be there for Annie. Ah. Annie, I love you, and I'm so proud of you, and I'm really excited for your future. 
and I can't wait to be a part of it.